When do we start looking at the charts? At seven o'clock in the morning, it starts a New York session. Do you need to be in the front of the charts at seven o'clock? No. Can you start at 8.15 and wait for 8.30? Yes, that's, that's, that's a good time too. You're not locked into that because I just told you at the beginning that every single hour you can scalp, every single 15 minute, there's a scalp. Every single 15, every quarter part of one hour, there's a scalp, but it isn't going to run 100 handles all the time. So you have to strip it down. So what's the minimum that I would like to see for trading and scalping the NASDAQ? It's 10 handles. If I can't at least make 10 handles, and I'm going to tell you how to determine that, okay? But if I can't make at least 10 handles, I'm not willing to take the trade. I don't care. I'll let it go. And there's lots of setups that I see all day long intraday that I will say, okay, I think it's going to do this, but I, I'm not, I don't want that one. And I'm going to tell you how to determine that today. So if we look at how the market dropped down and it took out these lows here, see how they're relatively equal? When we see that low right here on the five minute chart, see it right here, right above my cursor? That is this low right there. Go to the left of that low, what do you see? That's a down close candle. That is an order block. What this is, is a candle that is opposed, it's closing lower. So it's a down close in a market that's predisposed to go higher. Why should it go higher? Well, go up one time frame from the five minute and it's the 15 minute. What's right here? See these smooth highs right here? Look where it goes to. It goes right there, stops, and comes right back down and does what? It unsettles the longs that had a stop loss right below that low right there. And then the more prominent run takes place. Right below these lows, there'd be what? Sell side liquidity. And the market trades down, takes that liquidity out. At a time when we're in an inversion fair value gap, at a time where it would afford me a run up into 10 handles. Okay, so if I can get 10 handles there, I don't need to have the lowest low and I don't need to have the highest high. So if I know it can likely draw up to this price point here, and I'm under these lows here inside of a fair value gap that is now an inversion fair value gap, then I know this is a potential footing to send us higher. But is it time to make that price run there like that? No. But can I scalp it and get 10 points? Yes. We have the market trading below the lows here. I see the market taking out sell side. I want to be a buyer of that. But I saw a price on a one-minute chart saying, okay, I, you know, I can't get the lowest low, but I'm going to try to get it as much as I can because I do believe we're going to go higher, at least 10 handles. What is this separation right here between this candle's low and this candle's high? If I'm bullish, it's a fair value gap, right? What kind of fair value gap? Inversion fair value gap. So in here, we're seeing price drop down, the market runs up, and we have a down closed candle, and we have market trading down into that. So we have several factors here that are building on this potentially being a short-term turn, and then price running higher for 10 handles. That's all you need. There's a trade, and my first entry right there was inside that inversion fair value gap, right there. Then my second entry was right here as we touched the low of that inversion fair value gap. My risk was right below that low. Very, very, very small stop. Now, this is not the time for the run for the day. That's the reason why I only wanted to use 10 handles. What time will the market run algorithmically? For the note-taking folks, the ones that are really taking it serious, learning macros in price action, okay? Unless we're talking about the last hour between three o'clock and four o'clock in the US markets, okay? The last hour, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There are four specific macros in that one hour time uh, frame. Every single macro apart from that one is only 10 minutes till the top of the hour to 10 minutes after the hour. There is a macro in every single hour. There is no 19 minutes after the hour macro. There's no 23 minutes after the uh, hour. A macro only exists 10 minutes before the top of the hour. That means in this case, what, what time is this? It's 7.51. That's nine minutes before the hour of 10, I'm sorry, eight o'clock in the morning. So if we take a rectangle here and you go to 750 to 810, that is the macro. See that? What did the market do? We're bullish. Where's the buy side? Here, because it stopped right where it did over here on the 15 minute time frame too. So what does it do? It drops down at 751. What is it doing? It's dropping down to take the liquidity out here on that low to do what? To start spooling. Where? To clear the liquidity above here. 